So Chris has taken his, uh, his measurements and he's gotten some stencils made of the original cabinet art that was on here that somebody else had already kind of half-assed ruined and painted this ridiculous speckly looking crap and they didn't finish their lines. That's actually like painter's tape that's still on there. Uh, anyway, he's going to uh, do the original with a touch of his own flair all over it and make the whole damn thing a space theme behind it instead of being white. And it's going to be ka when he gets done with it. I probably don't need to cuss so much. This doesn't need to be an R-rated episode of Captain Nurture Show. Family friendly. Family friendly. I'm going to beat that one out with a Mario coin noise. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! Game plays really well. Uh, it was cleaned up and I bought, I actually traded for, um, I traded the one that I was thinking about turning into a He-Man machine for this. Cause I was sick of messing with that He-Man machine. I couldn't get it working. And I'm, you know, not the best at fixing EM stuff. So might as well trade it for one that is working and then spruce it up. And the reason I got this for the decent amount of trade was because of the horrible paint job that someone had done to it before my buddy fixed it. So that's where we're staying with this. It's day eight? No, day eight? Yeah, day eight of the Corona week. First Corona week of lockdown, basically. And we haven't been locked down. Fuck it. What are we doing? <laughs> We're out here not locking it down. But it's just me and him. My family's not here. Family's not around. They're at work, too. And uh, they're on lockdown in their own office, which is cool. It's just my dad and my brother. I think the world will live and hopefully we'll be able to sell some pinball machines when it gets back on its feet. Why? What is that? It's a glove, a water glove. Adorable. Happy little planets. Happy little planet over here. Happy little atmosphere over here. Hey, what? A water glove. Yeah. It's a water balloon glove. Yeah. yeah. Balloon. Exactly. Fuck yeah, dude. I stopped filming because it was so good. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Here it is out in the garage a couple days later. We've got a lot of work done to it and a lot more to do. But this is what he was painting there on the side. That's going to be a planet under, and there's a satellite above it. He had a stencil above it that he was pulling off there at the end and I, I stopped filming, things went down. But the planet is uh, what he was mainly drawing there with this scraping of the paper. And there's going to be another satellite in front of it here and another one here. These are the original stencils of the satellite still on the cabinet. And I, we're going to, you know, make them actually metal and gray looking in like actual compartmentalized stuff. And then on the side, the, uh, the rocket booster going up the side here. He's done the planet there, which looks really great. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. And uh, the USA capsule Saturn V rocket. Eventually, you know, it looks kind of like a kid painted it right now, but it won't when he gets done doing it. It's These are like basic outlines of where stuff goes on, and then he's going to come back and really detail it in. And uh, eventually we'll do the front of the cabinet and the black speckly stars and stuff too. But uh, that's the game, 1967 Williams Apollo. And it, it's all about shooting a rocket off into space, which is awesome. Uh, you light up all the lights in the middle of the rocket there and you launch the rocket and when you get done when the ball goes out it launches rockets from that little plachinko type game there a little ball shoots out of here and flies over and goes through down into these little scoring areas it's really a quite fun game for 1967 very fast em game uh, but it's coming along it'll, it'll it's getting there stratoflight might get the same type of action uh, really just go back over the original artwork and just kind of trick it out and make it even cooler looking. And I uh, get rid of that baby blue. That baby blue is just kind of ugly. Maybe go more with the purple and pink. And Street Fighter's out here and Road Kings is, is getting close. We had it, all the stuff set up on it because we were streaming Street Fighter 2 the other night. But uh, it's, uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. So this is the Arkanoid that I picked up for a hundred bucks uh, a couple months ago. Four months back, five months back, it's been sitting in the garage. Uh, it's playing blind, the screen's dead, and it's got the controller set up for it. But what's really going on here is this is a Dig Dug cabinet that has been hiding. I thought it was a kangaroo, but I'm guessing I'm wrong because that must be the kangaroo, which is the exact same cabinet shape as a Dig Dug is. But the Crystal Castles is technically a, a kangaroo, and I will be taking that Crystal Castles artwork off of there and turning it back into a kangaroo, at least the body, because uh, that Crystal Castles looks like crap. and. Might as well go back to the OG. But how cool. Like, I was thinking for a second that this was kangaroo as well, too. I really couldn't tell what was going on here in the artwork, but I knew there was something up under this black. And uh, with some citrus strip and some rubbing alcohol and a magic eraser, it's bringing it back to its former glory. That's a Dig Dug monster, or whatever that is, the spit, the fireball, or something that's coming out of Dig Dug side art. So, hooray! Scraper citrus strip Dig Dug is coming back This is the gross box I'm collecting it all in That's how you get old black paint off the side of a cabinet. Look at how nice this side has turned out so far. I mean, it's obviously I'm gonna need a second run and a, a good clean down, but my God, it's gonna get there. And the real great part about this is, let's go on back here. have a dig dug it's disgusting 
it's water damaged. It's bulgy. It's broken. The old back glass is cracking and breaking, but I do have a back glass. I've got artwork bezel and I've got a control panel. Taking that, that, and that, throw them on that cab, throw a dig dug board in it. Got a working dig dug again. The actual board for this dig dug was unrepairable. So this one can go to the junk heap, and uh, but most of its parts can stay stay alive. So that's cool. Kind of kind of proud of this project and. Then I'll have me a dig dug. That'll be my dig dug. This is my centipede that I need to go ahead and finish working on, but that's the one that fell out of the truck that I put back together that I'm keeping. Then I'm keeping one of these two froggers for myself. I'm slowly going through and picking out the stuff that I want to save and keep forever. There's the Pac Mania and uh, Todd Tucky from TNT got us this 3D marquee for it. Look at that bad boy. It's like 150 some odd bucks, but. Now the game is back to being remotely complete. We need some side art for it, which might actually be on there. there whatever this cabinet was to begin with, I wonder if I can take the paint off it and see what that was. Anyway, we're getting there. Dig Dug. Uh, so we are almost done with this side. We're getting close, we're getting close. It's all coming off pretty easy and it's looking really good. Uh, this side cleaned up really nicely. Now there are scratches in the wood that were painted black and somebody wrote dark outrage sucks. I, that, I don't know what the hell that fucking says, to be honest with you. And there's more scratches, but pretty, pretty freaking incredible from being black to being a dig dug again. And uh, we'll take the control panel and the marquee off the other one. We'll make this the clean of the two dig dugs that I've got. And a nice one. Hooray! Captain! Captain Petro! It's the Captain Petro Show!